Hi, good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, guys. How are you tonight? How do you feel this day, this Tuesday? It's rainy. Well, it's very good. Good evening, good. teacher. Good evening. Welcome, Maria. Welcome, Betsaida, Maria. We got David Moises, Brenda Carolina, Zulma Ventran. Who else we have? We have Claudia Carolina. Yes. Eved Hassan, Fatima Larissa, Jennifer, welcome. It's it raining? I think in all El Salvador, right? It's been raining the whole day. So the weather is kind of cold. Don't you feel cold today? Yeah, right. So as many of the classes, the presential classes have been suspended because it's right, it's very critical, right, on the streets to be there. But good to have you here. One more night. It's good to have you. One more session. Welcome. Remember yesterday we were studying about or adverbs of frequency and also expressions of frequency. And we also put emphasis in that we have a difference. With the adverbs of frequency, they are general, right? And we use them after the subject. But we have one difference that we can use in different three positions. The one is sometimes. And the frequency expressions, they are like a more specific because you have the specific quantity of occasions that you repeat a specific action. They can go at the beginning, or they can go at the end of the sentence. Do you have any question? No questions about frequency words or frequency expressions? Okay, let's go on then. We're going to continue with another topic. Always including the, the frequency. But we have an exercise here. This one is about meal times. So we're going to talk about our habits and how we eat our food. And it says that we are going to add three questions about mealtime habits to the chart. Then as a partner, the questions and complete the charts. We know that not only exercise, not only physical activity is necessary to be healthy, but also about our food, right? And what is the manner that we eat? What are the habits that we have? So it says meal habits, mealtime habits. We have the breakfast, the lunch, and the dinner. We have the first question in the one we're going to complete. It says, do you usually eat breakfast? Besaida, do you usually eat breakfast? Yes or not? Yes. You do it. Excellent. That's good. So you do it. That's nice. And what about lunch? Do you usually eat lunch? Yes. Yes, you always dinner. do it. Very good. Nice. What about the dinner? Uh, yes. <laughs> always. Excellent. That's good. Necessary to get energy. Really good. Okay. Now, Betsaida, you're going to ask the second question to Maria Padilla. And you can uh, complete with the different meal time. Like, for example, like what time do you usually eat? And you select one meal, maybe breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Select one. Maria Padilla, what time uh, do you usually eat? Mm, breakfast? Mm -hmm. Great. What I time? Usually. Uh, I, I usually. I usually eat. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, uh, then breakfast at at ten at ten a.m. Very good job. That's nice. So you yes. usually do it at that specific hour. Excellent. That's nice. Very good. Thanks, okay. David. What says? Okay. <laughs> David, David, are you there? Yes. Uh, person. All right. Hello. Number three, please. You are going to formulate this question. Do you ever? Do you ever? Uh -huh. uh, Need for 
Ajá. And complete with one of the meals, maybe for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Select one. Breakfast. Very fast. Okay. Complete it, please. Repeat the question. Do you ever? Do you ever eat meat for breakfast? Excellent. That's good. Okay. And the answer from Fatima Larissa, please. Can you give an answer? Hi. Yes. Do you ever eat meat for breakfast? Yes. For breakfast. Meat. Maybe chicken, maybe beef. Meat. Meat. Okay. For breakfast. Uh, no. No, right? Yes. No. <laughs> so you don't do it, right? You don't do it. Okay. Nice one. That's great. Now let's see. And Surma. Surma, you formulate the question number four. Remember, you can't like complete with one of the meals with breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Repeat your question. Uh -huh. This one. You need to repeat this question, but complete with one of the meals. Breakfast, lunch, or dinner, for example. And do you ever go to a restaurant for lunch, for dinner, for breakfast? Okay. Uh, do you ever go to a restaurant for lunch? Nice. For lunch. Very good. And the answer will go from Wilfredo. Hi, Wilfredo. Welcome. Welcome, Margarita, William, uh -huh. Wendy, German, Freddy. Hi, teacher. Hi, welcome. Uh, do you ever go to a restaurant for a dinner? For lunch? For dinner, right? Y yes. You said dinner, right? So, what is the answer? Remember, you can include a frequency answer. Uh, mm. Maybe, no, I never. No, I never go to a restaurant. Um, um for dinner or yes i always yes i, I go to a restaurant for twice twice a month twice a month mm -hmm. all right and it can be for dinner right all right that's good one nice margarita now let's see number five you repeat this question and complete with one of the three meals you're going to ask wendy okay wendy what do you usually drink for lunch mm -hmm, nice I usually eat the lunch. Drink, drink. Every day. But what What do you usually drink? Maybe uh, soda, orange juice. Okay, I usually drink soda. Ah, for? Lunch. For lunch. Very good job. Nice. Good. William, now you asked the question number six. You're going to ask Freddy. Okay. What is sometimes you never eat for uh, dinner. Dinner, okay. Something you never eat for dinner. I never eat meat for breakfast. For dinner, dinner. Dinner. Oh, dinner. dinner. Uh -huh. He emphasized on dinner. Can you repeat it, please? I never. I never eat uh -huh. meat. Uh -huh. For dinner. For dinner. Very good job. Nice. Okay. Now, let's see. We are going to include... Sorry, William? Nothing that his sweater is so cool. Yeah. That's really nice. Yes. Now, we're going to include three more. So, you include another one. Daisy, can you help us? Now, formulate a different question. Do you usually eat? You can also include, do you ever eat, drink? And you're going to ask Sulma. Sulma, you listen to the question. Um, do you ever go to a pupusaria for dinner? For dinner, all right, that's very good. Sulma? Sulma Beltran, are you there? No. Margarita, how will you answer? Do you ever go to a pupuseria for dinner? 
I usually go to a pupuseria for dinner. Really good. Nice one. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now let's see. Eric. Are you present, Eric? Eric, Eric. Hi. Yes. Hey, hey. Now you formulate another question for Daniela Beatriz. Do you usually usually you do you usually eat pizza for lunch? That's nice, very good, great. Daniela? Can repeat. Can you repeat, Eric, please? Do you usually eat pizza for lunch? Nice. Okay. Usually. What do you mean for lunch? For lunch. Uh, what is for lunch. Lunch, for lunch. Do you usually eat pizza for lunch? I sometimes lunch soups. I sometimes have, lo uh, have a soup for lunch. I sometimes have soup for lunch. I sometimes have, have lunch. Have soup? For lunch. Have soup for lunch. For lunch. That's all right. Good one. Okay. One more question that we can add. Evel, are you there, Evel? Evel, Jocelyn, are you present? All right. Claudia? Claudia Carolina? Claudia? Yes. Yes. Okay. Now you formulate another question. To Jennifer Sarai. Maybe what do you usually drink or eat? What time also it can be? Claudia, can you listen? There are problems with the audio, right? Okay. Good, I understand. I understand, yeah, guys. Sure. Yes, I see your, your text messages on the chat. There is problem with the rain, right? Okay. Okay. So let's see to Diana. Diana? Are you present, Diana? Yes, teacher. Yes? Okay. So let's ask the question to Diana. Cannot. Okay, Betsaida. Betsaida, you ask Diana the question, please. One more question. Okay. Do you usually cereal for dinner? Mm -hmm. Do you usually eat cereal for eat dinner? Cereal for dinner. Nice. Thank you. Diana? I never eat cereal for dinner. Very good job. That's right. Great one. Okay. Okay. There was an exercise included. The frequency words that we have. Okay, now let's verify here. We have another one. Let's continue with our session. Okay, remember that we have the exercise in 1.4 with our knowledge check. And let's do an example here. We have here instructions. Read the following prompts. Choose the response in which the adverb in brackets is placed correctly. Remember that they have a specific position. So what will be the best option? The first one is, do you ever play sports? Ever you play sports or do you play sports ever? What will be the correct form? Do you, you ever play sports? Do you ever play sports? The first one, right, exactly. Do you ever play sports? All right. How will you answer this question? How will be the best answer? Will I you? never play sports. Okay, very good. I never play sports. Very good job. Nice. What about you, Eric? How would you answer to this question? Do you ever play sports? Eric? Usually play soccer. 
I usually play soccer. Very good job. Yes, you're given a specific yes. sports that you practice. That's all right. Cool. Okay, let's continue with the next part. In the one our objective is like this. In this section, participants will listen to intonation with direct address. This helps sound natural when speaking. Okay, let's remember that the intonation, right, in a sentence is necessary like to raise our voice depending on the structure that we have. If we have rising intonation, it's because we tell you the intonation or the tone of voice, we increase the tone of voice. If it's falling intonation, the tone of voice, it goes down. Let's go ahead. We've got the video there. Let's see, 1.6. There's a little problem with the Wi-Fi. Let's check. You're really fit, okay. Paul. Dr. Lee. Needed. In this session, participants will listen to intonation with direct address. No problem with the video? No problem. No, no problem. Okay, no problem, teacher. Helps Thank sound you. sound natural when speaking. There is usually falling intonation and a pause before the name. You're really fit, Paul. She looks tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. Remember to listen and practice as many times as needed. All right, as you saw there, like the rising intonation or falling intonation, all it depends on what is the objective or what do we want to put emphasis on the sentence. We got here, it says, you really fit, Paul. She looks tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. If you observe here, as it mentions here, notice these sentences or statements with direct address. There is usually falling intonation and a pause before the name. So it's not like flat, right? It's not the same intonation in the sentence or in the statement that we can have. We need to change it. it says, you really fit, Paul. We make a pause. And also because we have a comma, right? Always that we have a comma, we need to have a pause in our statement. She looks tired, James. So we begin with rising intonation, and then we continue with falling. So it goes down. She looks tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. Make a pause, right? Before, hear the noun. Now, we have other examples. You're in great shape, Sally. It's not the same tone, right? You say, you're in great shape, Sally. Not the same, right? We don't put like a... Right, what's the emphasis of the sentence of the conversation that you have? How often do you lift weights, Marcos? I occasionally lift weights. Do you ever practice swimming, Annie? Yes, I practice swimming once a week. So here, we're asking a question to Marcos, right? And also here, we're putting emphasis like who is directed the conversation to? Like, who is the person that is my objective to listen to this? Now, let's read them. Fatima Larissa, can you read the first one, please? Try to put intonation, right? And make a pause before the noun, before Sally in this case. Okay. You're in great shape, Sally. Mm -hmm. Okay. Begin the sentence like, with rising intonation, and then in great shape, you go down. You're in great shape, Sally. Repeat it, please. You're in great shape, 
Sally. That's good. Thank you. William, continue. The next one. You got the question. William Fuentes? Excuse me. I have a little issues about the, the application. Okay. Uh, how often do you lift weights, Marcos? Mm -hmm. That's right. Thank you. That's good. Wendy, continue with the answer. I. Hola, le voy a decir a su papá. I okay, occasionally. Occasionally? Light. Occasionally. Light weight. Lift weights. Lift okay. weights. I That's occasionally good. lift weights. Very good, Joe. Thank you. That's good. Germán, Germán Ulises, are you present? No? Problems with the audio, maybe? Eric, can you please read it? The next one. Do you ever? Do you ever practice swimming any? Mm -hmm, right. Thank you. That's good. Marvin Lopez, the answer, please. Good evening. Hey, good evening. Welcome, Marvin. Yes, I practice swimming once a week. That's all right. Good one. Okay, so you put emphasis, right, on the person that you want to listen to that, to listen to the question or to listen to our statement in a conversation. Questions. Do you have questions about this? No, teacher. No? Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Okay, let's go ahead then on the next point. And let's read here our objective. Wendy, can you read the objective, please? In this lesson. In this lesson, participate will participants. Participants. participants will listen and follow the conversation about fitness. Question with notice. How, notice questions. Question with how and short answer. Thank you very much. All right. So as we know, there exists a lot of WH questions, but also exist how questions. And the one is always is the same form, right? It's a WH. They are in different positions, but it, it contains a WH word. But it contains also like how. But what do we investigate with the how? We got the how questions. We have a conversation. And the one is, I'm a real fitness freak. Have you heard about that, that expression? Fitness freak. What's that? It's like a fanatic of the fitness. Something, someone that enjoys a lot the exercise. Exactly, yes. Especially, there are many people that they really go to the gym every day and they never miss a class at the gym. They always go there and they're always like a, maybe like taking some vitamins to be stronger. And also they have or they follow a balanced diet. So they are very careful in what they eat, but they do exercise. Right, that's correct. Now we have there the video. We're going to watch and then we're going to practice. In this class, you will listen and follow a conversation about physical skills. Hi everyone, are you ready to listen to another conversation? This time, we will learn to ask questions using how. Listen and repeat. I'm a real fitness freak. You're in great shape, Keith. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week, and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Uh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. Uy. ¿Qué trajiste, amor? ¿Ah? 
Sí, eso estoy haciendo, pero es que por el internet, mira, a veces se traba, ve. Raquel, te escuchamos todo. Miss tiene apagado el micrófono. Sorry, thank you, thank you. Okay, now that we watch the video, we can practice it. So this one is, I'm a real fitness freak. Let's listen to this and then you practice there. We got a conversation between Ruth and Kate. And it says, you're in great shape, Kate. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week. And I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? <laughs> How well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right. But I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. Now, you got new vocabulary from there? <clears throat> Maybe new phrases, new words. Shape. Shape. If you say shape in general, that means forma. But if you say you're in great shell, well, you are in like a fantastic, right? Shape of your body. Thank you. You're very welcome. So if you go to the gym and you do exercise, you're in great shape. Any other words or any other phrase that is new for you? Yeah. What about workout? This one is a, a phrasal verb. What's workout? How often do you work out? It's different than work, different than work at your company. Workout is a phrasal verb that means exercise. Let's write it here. It's a phrasal verb. This one is workout is equals to exercise. So it's how often do you exercise or do you do exercise? But it needs to be with this preposition, work, out so that's the meaning exercise more questions let's move then to the other part All right, so as it was mentioned before, we have in this session that participants will watch and study questions with how and short answers. If you remember yesterday, we saw about complete answers in the one we included, the frequency words, but we include the subject, the verb, but also we can be more practical. So how, well, we investigate with how, used to ask for manner, condition, or quality, the answer shows the way or form. So that means you investigate the manner or the form that you do something. In the case of the WH, you investigate the specific information, right? But they don't have that. And this one investigates the form. Let's go ahead on here. The next part. We got a lot of videos today. On the video 1.10, this one is questions with how and the short answers. Question box. In this session, participants will watch and study questions with how and to give short answers. Hello, everyone. We will go over four important questions we can ask in order to know frequency and performance. Notice all questions begin with how. Pay attention.
Questions with how. Short answers. How often do you work out? Every day. Twice a week. Not very often. How long do you spend at the gym? 30 minutes a day. Two hours a week. About an hour on weekends. How well do you play tennis? Pretty well. About average. Not very well. How good are you at sports? Pretty good. Okay. Not so good. How? How often? How long? They refer to times or frequency. How well? How good? They refer to performance. How often do you go to English class? How long do you spend at school? How well do you speak English? How good are you at speaking English? Please answer these questions on our discussion box. Okay, so those were some examples about how we can utilize the questions with how, but we have short answers. The first one we have, how often do you work out? Remember, workout means exercise.